Warney's passing, though, took us all by surprise, and it has put heart health under the microscope. Martin, this is the first step to your heart health. You're fit, you don't smoke, you're doing some activity. They're all critically important things. Australia, we need to talk. Fair dinkum, heart to heart about our tickers. How is your heart health? Uh, to be honest, mate, I, I really don't know at the moment. How is your heart health? It was pretty good. How do you know it's pretty good? Well, I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> so... That's not very scientific. <laughs> so... well, I don't know then. And that's the point, isn't it? We should know. When you think about it, Shane Warne left two legacies. He's cricketing genius and a wake-up call to a country that's far too complacent about our heart health. If you like, a warning from warning. Heart disease is the number one killer in Australia and around the world. Professor Andre Lagersh is a cardiologist with the Baker Heart and Diabetes Institute. The majority of people who have a heart attack survive, he says, but far too many, like Warren, leave us far too early. So in Australia, around 2,000 people under the age of 50, so young people, die every year of a heart attack. Every day, around 150 Australians suffer a heart attack. That's 1,050 a week, or 55,000 heart attacks a year. I am one of those stats. It was the longest eight, it, the longest eight minutes of my life, waiting for the ambulance to come. <coughs> I can just remember thinking I didn't want to die alone. 57, fit, strong, seemingly invincible, and totally unaware that lurking within heart disease, my family has a history. What's the problem? Tell me exactly what I'm happened. I'm having a heart attack. I'm losing consciousness. I was lucky. Paramedics, then doctors and nurses at Melbourne's Alfred Hospital saved my life. I've often thought I will never have a heart attack because my heart's too strong. You know, there's something I've never revealed about my heart attack over all of these years because I've been embarrassed. For three days beforehand, I had severe heartburn, pain in my chest, but I ignored the signs. I was frantically busy at work and I was stressed and I put my job before my life. Martin, unfortunately that was dumb. That was a missed opportunity. And, and the paradox here is that the younger and fitter you are, the more likely, as you did, to say this can't be a heart attack. You know, I'm well, I, I do some jogging, I'm, I'm fit, I, I eat the right things, I behave myself. It can't be a heart attack. Absolutely it can be. It's the most likely thing. It took Shane Warne, Senator Kitching and former Australian wicketkeeper Rod Marsh, who died at 74, to shock us about our heart health. There's others too. Former Essendon tough nut Dean Wallace was also 52 when he survived his heart attack a few weeks ago. And former Aussie cricketer and coach Darren Lehman had a heart attack on his 50th birthday. At 50 waking up with that tight chest and going, what's happening here is quite nerve wracking for not only me, but the family, people that I love dearly. So things changed on that February 5. Darren had some symptoms, tiredness, sleep issues, breathlessness. He was a smoker and like me, he didn't go to a doctor. You think that's just part and parcel of being a, a high performance coach when you come off the end of a day's work, you, you're pretty tired and, and you just want to rest. Why don't you know? Uh, probably because I've been lazy and haven't gone and checked for a long time, I suppose. It's just not something I've thought about doing at all. How old are you? 50? 50. 50? Yep, two years off old Shane Warne, which is a bit scary, to be honest. The blokes out there in Australia, how are we performing about checking our hearts? Uh, unfortunately, it's very poor with regards to actually going in for that initial checkup to do that. You know, we have an amazing healthcare system here that if you actually do have a heart attack, that you've got a very good chance of survival, um, better than anywhere else on the, on the globe, to be honest with you, but you've got to get there. Dr. Rob Grenfell is a public health specialist and former director of cardiovascular health with the Heart Foundation. The second thing is you don't actually need to go there because you could have prevented it. And that means taking time out and getting a bit of a checkup. Maybe your lumen oil change, your 100,000 K service, whatever you want to call it. Going to your doctor, getting your risk worked out and managing it. Now Rob, you've got heart attack genetics in your family? Yeah, look, my father ha was found to have very severe blockage of his uh, coronary arteries at 62. 62. 62, yeah. yeah. And uh, I turned 60 this year, realise. Oh, just about the same age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 
Are uh, you concerned that you may have a heart attack? Oh, look, it's, uh, it, it makes my risk quite high, although everything else is fine and I'm doing the best that I can to actually uh, make sure my heart health is as good as possible. Yeah. And we'll have to see. So, have you had tests for your heart? Yes. How long ago? Um, oh, um, four or five years, something like that. Both men and women should start thinking about their heart health from the age of 40. Go and get checked out if you have any doubt with anything, not just heart disease, anything really. The recent deaths of a few treasured Australians for what they've done to our community and others, lives cut short, uh, is, is a wake-up call to all of us. Prevention, as we know, is better than cure. Yeah, it really is an important reminder for us all. Get your heart checked. It could save your life.